Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime, my name is Jake and today we are going to look at the subreddit r slash entitled parents, where people tell us their stories of crazy mums and dads who think they're entitled just because they have kids. If you're new around here, please do hit subscribe down below so that you never miss out on another video, but for now let's sit back, relax and enjoy some reddit stories. Entitled dad doesn't understand that his son can't be in our internet cafe and calls 911 for illegal activities. Backstory. I live in New York City and I work as an employer at a small, unpopular internet cafe. I've been a worker at that cafe for six months. Everything was smooth, cha cha real smooth, until two weeks ago. Can't believe people like this even exist on the planet. The cast. Me, worker at an internet cafe, ED, entitled dad, and BS, entitled dad's son. So here's how it happened. So it was around 7 in the evening where it was the peak of people, mostly teens but okay, came here to play games. Even though it was at peak time, it was like less than 20 people in there. When Entitled Dad and his brat son came in. Now please note, brat son is less than 16 years old and was not allowed to be in our premises. So I tried to inform Entitled Dad about the policy. The following conversation ensues. Greetings sir, may I see your son's identity card please? Why? You may not notice, but our policy states that your son needs to be at least 16 years old to be in here. I don't need to, he is mature enough to be here. Okay, so what is your intention to be here? I want to play CSGO. Okay, you can, can, he cuts me off. What's the price for an hour of usage? Um, but I need your son's ID. Why? To ensure he is 16 years old. Do I need to repeat again? He is mature enough to be in here. Furthermore, he plays like a professional. He deserves to be here. Oh, okay. What's your rank in CSGO, mate? Silver 1. Okay, let me tell you something straight, sir. Silver 1 is the lowest skill group, not high enough to be called professional. And without ID, you can't use our computers. But I want to play CSGO. You heard it. He wants to play it. Give it. Sir, with all of my respect, your son needs to prove that he is 16 years old. I will not let your son, or even you, to use our computers if you don't show us your ID. Do I make myself clear, sir? Okay, screw you. If my son can't play, neither can anyone else. I'm going to call 911 for you promoting illegal activities in this premises, and for assaulting my son. This way, your cafe will be shut down. Okay, go ahead. Just to inform you that our cafe is legit and registered, so I can assure you no illegal activities is taking place. I want to see your manager. Why do you want to see my manager, where instead you call the police to file a complaint about our illegal activities? That's it, you're gonna get it from me. He then leaves the cafe while calling on his phone. I'm still waiting for the police to come into our internet cafe. Why would you need to be 16 plus to go into an internet cafe though? Is it because they only play games there like CSGO which is higher rated? I, I presume that must be the only reason. Entitled Kid tries to hold my lap cap at the vet. Here is a new one that just happened to me last night. I'm at the vet with my cat. She has a sore on her face that isn't healing right, so I took her to the vet. I get there at 6pm and there are three other people with dogs. I'm the only one with a cat. I sit at the far end away from the dogs. While I don't have dogs in the house, I lived with my parents with her who did have dogs so she is used to them. I open the cat carrier and she has her front out of the carrier while her back is in the carrier. I also have a leash on her so she doesn't run out of the carrier. I'm just trying to keep her calm while I wait for the vet to call us. The cast. EM, a typical Karen, EK, entitled kid, and me, rainbow unicorn. One thing to know is my cat doesn't like being held. 
She will actively try to push her legs out when being held. However, the four years I've owned her, she has accepted me holding her, but only for about a minute before she starts moving around to be put down. My girlfriend can't hold her for more than a few seconds. However, she loves to lay on your lap and snuggle next to you. As I am waiting, two more dogs come in. One is a huge, pretty German Shepherd. I have a soft spot for German Shepherds, as my parents had one when I was a kid. The Shepherd is pulling along Entitled Mother, the typical Karen, and Entitled Kid right behind her. Entitled Kid is about five, and she is running around petting, playing, and hugging each of the dogs. Of course, the dogs don't mind, though Entitled Kid doesn't ask for permission, as they are happy to see new people. While Entitled Mother is talking and checking in with the receptionist, Entitled Kid sees me with my cat and starts to run towards me. The sound of her flip-flops were loud and spooked my cat. She ran back into the carrier. Entitled Kid comes up and says, I want to hold the kitty. Sorry, she doesn't like being held, but if she is okay with petting, you can pet her. I pull on her leash a bit and she walks a bit out of the carrier. Entitled Kid starts petting her, which my cat likes. Then she tries to pull her out of the carrier to hold her. I tell Entitled Kid, no, she doesn't like that. My cat puts her arms out like she normally does, so Entitled Kid can't hold her right and my cat starts to cry. I quickly take her from Entitled Kid and put her back in her carrier. When I took her away, Entitled Kid started to cry her eyes out and ran right to Entitled Mother, who at this time was sitting down with her dog. Entitled Mother walked right over to me and said, You made my girl cry. Let her hold your cat. By this point, my cat was in the corner of her box scared. I said to her, I'm sorry, but she doesn't like being held. Plus, your child tried to pull on her. She just wanted to hold her. You most likely don't even know how to hold a cat correctly. Before I could get a word in, the vet called my name. I picked up the carrier and walked right into the room as quickly as I could. I'm not sure what happened after that, as Entitled Mother and Entitled Kid were gone with the German Shepherd. However, due to all of that, my cat was not happy and was scared the whole time. Sorry for the anticlimax at the end, but they were most likely being seen by another vet at that point. Here is a picture of my cat for all you people. Her bed is right next to her and she decides to sleep on the floor. Well, hopefully the cat's feeling better and I'll still never understand kids like that with parents that treat them like that. Entitled mother tries to steal an entire pizza from a restaurant. So I was at the restaurant I'm applying to work at when I saw my first entitled parent in real life. The restaurant is a buffet pizzeria. They make sure people know not to take extra food from the restaurant, no matter what. So this lady, Karen, and her two children were walking out of the building. One of the kids had a large wad of paper towels that looked oddly like a wrapped up slice of pizza. The employee at the front then said something. I'm going to call her Erica for this. Excuse me, you can't take food out from the restaurant. Oh, it's just our pizza crusts. I don't like to eat them, but my son likes to finish mine for me. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we don't allow any food to leave unless you pay separately for it. You're going to have to leave any leftovers here. It's our restaurant's policy. At this point, Karen is getting really mad. She keeps arguing with the employee for a bit longer before she has a freak out. You want your pizza crusts? Have your darn pizza crusts. Go ahead and take them. Suddenly, Karen pulls out of her purse a gallon-sized Ziploc bag stuffed with pizza slices, not just pizza crusts, and throws the bag at the employee before storming out of the store with her kids. The employee later told me that they had absolutely no idea Karen had anything in her purse, and it totally threw them off. We later found out that the paper towel wad the kid had was just because his nose was bleeding, meaning Karen could have gotten away with taking the pizza if she just told the employee the paper towels were for that. She must have had a big purse to be able to hide a gallon-sized Ziploc baggie stuffed with pizza slices. Like, that's a big purse. 
the best entitled parent shutdown ever. I dearly wish I could claim this was me, or even a relative, so I could claim this degree of clever was in my genes. But it was not. It was a bouncer at a small town club, and when he made the comment, there weren't even the expected cinematic, oh, or what, one would expect. Just a dead, echoing silence from about 40 onlookers. No need for cast. How dumb are you? This mother and daughter pair were trying to get into the club late in the evening. The daughter was clearly young and actually reasonably attractive in quite a nice, fashionable, as best my fashion blind eyes can tell, outfit. The mother was not obese, but certainly overweight and had shoehorned her corpulence into hot pants and a tank top that would have been trashy on a supermodel. And friends, she was no supermodel. Badly dyed stringy hair, cheap bulky jewellery, spray on orange string, all the trailer trimmings. I didn't hear how the exchange started, but clearly these two were trying to cut ahead of the line. The bouncer, this massive action figure of a black man with an oddly babyish face and the patience of Job, had denied this effort. Hilarity ensued. The daughter threw a few verbal jabs but seemed to be just mildly irritated. The mother on the other hand lost her mind, shrieking racial epithets that would curl the ear hair of a plantation owner and every horrific name you care or do not care to imagine. Interspersed with the expected do you know who I am and get me the owner, etc. The bouncer just stood there and didn't react with anything but polite direction. Downright heroic. After a few minutes of this vile screeching, the daughter is now embarrassed as hell and trying to pull the mother away. People are gathering to watch and the whole thing has become a spectator sport. The bouncer just kept politely saying, you will need to go to the back of the line like anyone else ma'am, or variations on that theme. By now, the woman wasn't even trying to argue the point, just squealing the revolting, and at this point, quite repetitive insults. Then, she screamed that he was an awful bouncer and would get fired that night, then, she tried to slap the bouncer. She missed quite badly, at which point the bouncer took a single step forward. She fell back with a shriek and said quite loudly, Ma'am, at any point tonight, have I ever told you how to s**k off flabby obese old men in an alley for £5 a shot? Clearly baffled, she said nothing but sputtered. He continued, No ma'am. I have never said anything like that, not once. So don't tell me how to do my job. Dead silence. Like 40 people in the street, not a sound. She yelled a couple more things, then scuttled away with her daughter dragging her by the arm. It's been over a decade, but I still want to go find that bouncer and buy him a drink. Yep, that was definitely an r slash murdered by words moment. Wow. <laughs> Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out some other videos, then click on screen right now or check out the playlist down below. If you enjoyed that video, then please do leave a like. And if you want to submit your own stories, then you can do so by joining the Discord in the top link in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.